the school in essence is it's a pathway. It's a pathway for a young person aged 16 to 19 to go on a journey over two years and prepare themselves for a career in golf. Whatever that career is, albeit a, a tour player through to going to university, through to um, you know doing your job, being in management, whatever. That, that, that's the great thing about this course. It prepares young golfers for, for everything they want to do in golf. I'll stop there. I'll stop there. Lads. Hi. Hey. You well? How are you? Good, good. I've been um, lucky to be okay, involved guys. with UPS for uh, three years now and uh, you know I've had a great relationship with them. They're very supportive. I play all over the world and UPS are all, you know, based all over the world uh, and they've um, been very supportive of the golf school here. Uh, so they, the, the lads that are learning can, can just concentrate on that and the financial pressure's taken off. Do you wish you had the opportunity to go to a golf school? I would have loved to have had the opportunity. You know, one of the questions I, I'm continually asked um, is what would you have done if you weren't a professional golfer? So, uh, you know, this is, this is the opportunity that you've got. You've got a chance to practice a lot, as much as I did. Uh, and also, at the end of it, come out of it with a qualification. How does it feel to be world number one? Well, it's obviously very special. You know, we're playing in the era when Tiger Woods is around as well, and he's arguably uh, one of the best players, or the best player to have ever played the game. So to become world number one while he's around is, uh, is quite an achievement, I think. Guys, I'd like to introduce a, a very special guest to you all today. Um, this is Trish, Lee's mum. And she's come to visit you all at the school today. And um, doing this is your life. <laughs> <laughs> and I think very interestingly, he's got some some uh, photos of Lee's youth. My mum and dad so, gave me a hundred percent support, <laughs> even more than that sometimes. And uh, you know, it's uh, it's vital. Uh, you know, I was throwing myself into it, um, practicing all the time. I uh, couldn't drive, and, and needed somebody to drive me around as well. So, mum became a full-time taxi driver more or less. And. Uh, um, you know, it's definitely contributed to my success. There is an embarrassing photo here. Yeah. 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 There's Marco. <laughs> yeah. there's Marco. Have a good look at that. There you go. <laughs> well, you were, weren't you? are saying I'm not grown up since the age of 16. <laughs> John was watching Martin Keimer on his phone and, uh, you know, when Martin was about six over or something like that, he rang Lee up and Lee happened to be in the supermarket doing a little bit of shopping for his wife and said, I think congratulations are in order. So Lee said, why? Because I've found the biggest potato. So uh, John says, I think you should have a little bit more respect for the father of the number one. <laughs> You can be the guinea pig. How's that? Right. You got any balls? Yeah, I got one. All right. Then I can stand this side of you. Will he, will he hold it? No. no. <laughs> Not much confidence in you, have <laughs> you? <laughs> oh, my word, he hasn't. Oh, no. You've got to blame the green for that, haven't you? As Lee's profile has, has, has risen, then clearly our profile has risen. And I guess to some respect we've put more demands then on the students as to what our expectations are of, of, of what they're doing on a day-to-day -day basis and our own expectations you and, mom. you know, yeah. my own coaching team, the, the expectations of what we need to achieve have, have risen, okay. the expectation of, of the product that we're providing has risen. So actually it's upskilled everything which has been fantastic and that's all been driven by Lee. Oh. <laughs> I like the fact that he didn't start at a very young age and he wasn't that good. To see that he's number one now, and you know he's still getting better and better, is oh, gives me that First take. belief, self-belief eh? really that you know if he can do it, why can't I do it? Couldn't really have a better mentor really. He's he's been through everything that we're going through, done it all successfully. So any advice that he gives us has to really be taken on board. Good. Okay, uh, right, Jerome. We're just going to look at your swing here. This is from a few weeks back. Um, so look at some of the points that we're uh, obviously uh, wanting to work on. Yeah. It's a lot they've got everything on a plate for him. Yeah. They've got simulators, they've got uh, different tutors for all departments of the game. Oh! <laughs> indoor facilities for when the weather turns, obviously, the indoor bunkers. and They've got a choice of four different courses around here to play. Gymnasium, what more can you ask for? I 
I would like to say on behalf of everyone that we've, we've been very thankful for, for how much you've interacted with the students in such a short time frame. Well, I think that's where this golf school can separate itself from yes. the others, isn't it? Yes. Um, you know, if I have some involvement. Yes. UPS have been uh, Lee's main sponsor for two years, so it was a natural fit that they then came on board as the sponsors of the school. Um, and that, that's been a, a, a great help for us and a great assistance for us. Carl and his team here have my total trust. I think they're, they're a good bunch uh, and the, the reaction from the, from the lads so far has been nothing but positive and delighted the way things are going.